This is Acrocanthosaurus, a carcardontosaurid with high neural spines that travel along its back. Acrocanthosaurus has only one species in its genus and was the largest predator of its ecosystem. Hello everybody, welcome back, and this is Divine Beast's remodeled Acrocanthosaurus. Now just looking at it, you can tell that it's way different from the old model. Matter of fact, I will be having a video that comes out somewhere up here talking about the comparison between the two, so definitely check that out. But let's go ahead and get right into it. This is the default 10% bleed acro build right here. Look at how good this remodel is. You can see every inch of this guy. It just looks so much better than the previous model. You'll see all the definition in his legs and the arms. He's got the iconic head shape here, which Acrocanthosaurus is known for. You can see the sharp razor teeth that we've got as well. It looks really good already. All right, our next one is plus 5% attack and it's named 2000 here. You can tell that the spines are a little bit higher from the back of the head and the back as well as the stomach is extended as well as the jaw and the neck here. But other than that, looks pretty good, pretty much the same. Now we have plus 7% stamina, here you go. You have the base of the tail is much wider than the previous models. We still have the high spines and the legs look a little bit longer to me as well. I don't know if you guys see that. The skull is also a bit elongated. Other than that though, pretty good. Then we have plus 5% speed, much smaller head, still large spine, still really large base tail here. And the stomach is a bit extended, but still not too different. Then we have our plus 5% turn, which definitely has a longer tail. The base of the tail just gets wider and wider on each iteration, <laughs> each variation of this guy's, he just gets chunkier and chunkier and it's kind of fantastic. But the head is pretty much our generic default head here, but of course it's still wider from the top to the bottom here. Then we have plus 5% armor, which is the 2023 version. Uh, yeah, he's, his neck is huge, absolute chunk. The tail is a little bit smaller here. It doesn't look as long as the previous one, but he's just a chunky boy. And then back to our default at Tokyo. Kensis. All right, let's check out the female skin right quick. This, there's barely any difference. It's really just a lighter shade of green right here on the underbelly right there and the neck. Other than that, it's exactly the same as the male. All right, let's go through the calls right quick. First up, we have broadcast. He stands so tall on his hind legs. It sounds really good. It's super loud, but I love the animation for it. It's very, very good. Next up, we have two call. Oh, it's kind of like a sway, but then a shake at the end. Very nice though. It's cute. Threaten. He's throwing a tantrum right there. <laughs> he is super mad. That's a really good threat in animation, I think. Like, that means get out of my face, for real. Four call? I like that, that's a good four call. It's not as high pitched as I thought it was gonna be, but it still conveys like with the animation that, you know, I surrender, I give up. Talk. Okay, it's kind of like a rumble, but like an open mouth rumble. So it gets some air in there. Pretty earthy. I think this is shake. Oh, okay, yeah. Mm, I think it would have been better if it started maybe with the shoulders when it was going up and then came down with the head. If that makes any sense to you guys. I don't know, but it's still not a bad animation at all. I don't know what this is. So I'm gonna call it mystery one. Oh, okay. Basically a scratch. Okay. Very nice. Don't know what this one is either. I'm going to say that's a territorial emote. It looks pretty territorial to me. I don't know about y'all, but that's what I'm getting. And then our invite is going to be the same as our two call. All right. And here is the baby model for Acro. It looks Super cute. Those eyes are ginormous. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Like, uh, I'm not even going to zoom in too much from it, but it looks really, really cute. It's very baby like, which is exactly what I want out of like dinosaur babies, you know? Well, let's go through the calls real quick. First, we have our broadcast. Oh my 
my gosh. Even as a baby, acro is super, super loud. I would tone it down a little, just, just a little bit. Cause I can tell that people are going to be spamming it when it comes out. So, ooh, wild. Two call. Oh, that one's cute. There was a little burp at the end there. Threaten. Ooh, I love that he's just basically throwing a temper tantrum here. This looks really, really good. One of my favorite threaten animations. Four call. <laughs> Oh, that's good. That actually sounds scared for the baby. Talk. That one's really good too. Kind of like a shorter version of the four call, but without like the wild thrashing shake. Yeah, I definitely wanted to start at the shoulders for the shake since the head is going up and then move to the head when it comes back down. Scratch. Whoa, look at him. It looks weird because it like goes backwards, but the arms are long enough, so I guess it's fine. Territorial. Stomp, scratch. And he raises up. It's really cool. I love the like raising up, looking back. It makes him extra, extra tall, you know? Uh, let's go through the animations right quick. First is our walk. Oh, he's kind of chunky. He's got that chunky baby walk. In the front, in the side. Oops, sorry, I started going downhill. Not bad. Okay, let's do our run. Ooh, it's just like a faster chunky run. Chunky walk. Really great turn radius there. Super fast as a baby. I like it a lot, yeah. Let's see if we have a jump. We do, a nice short jump. Let's try our sit. Okay, goes all the way down with the chest on the floor instead of like the back legs like most people do. Sleep. Oh, there's a yawn. Oh, and he curls up. There we go. Oh, he twitches in his sleep. And the head moves and the tail moves. That's super cute. I like that. Or right, get up. Yeets his head up like he's surprised. And then a couple of snorts. Very nice. Very, very nice. All right, and here is our adult model. Look at him. He just looks so much better. They improved so much on the way this version of the Acro looks. Like, it just looks really, really nice. Very chunky, but not too chunky. You know, he looks like he can move and do his thing. But let's go through the animations right quick. First, we have our walk. There you go. There's a little bit of that chunky sway with a chunky walk because he's got them thighs. I would say the walk is a little slow. I think he could have a little bit longer gait, you know? He could probably stretch those legs a little bit wider, but not bad. Let's do our run. Yep, same chunky run where it looks like he's kind of throwing his weight from one foot to the other. It's not bad. Here's from the front. We don't have a jump as an adult, but here's our crouch. And then our crouch walk. Ooh, I love the crouch. Yes, that is the animation you want. Very, very good. That's definitely ambush predator style right there. And let's sit. He actually sits really fast. I like the idle for it. The mouth was open a little bit as he was sitting. Sleep. Ooh, I love the yawn noise and the curl up. It's super cute. You still got the head movement here. The mouth opens, the tail, and a little bit of twitching in his sleep. Very nice. Let's get up. Eats that head up. And makes a little noise as he gets up. Let's do our precise movement here. Here's our turn in place. That's actually pretty fast for our apex. That's really, really good. To the left. To the right. Slow sachet back. The back is really slow. 
back in turn. That one's pretty nice. That's pretty fast. But otherwise, the really great turn radius. And here's our drinking animation. Here we go. Very nice. Very simple. Just takes a couple of sips, lifts his head, his tail. Probably so he doesn't fall over while he's balancing. Here's our swim animation. It's kind of like a long, you cover like a lot of distance with one pedal of the foot, but it is pretty slow still. Here's our speed swim. That's actually decent speed for an apex to swim. Not bad at all, actually. All right, and here's our disturbed burrow animation. Mainly just the foot digging in through the hole here. And then our eating animation. Ooh, whoa, that's a really good blood mask right there. Oh man, the animation was entirely too short for me. I was kind of enjoying it. All right, let's go through these skins right quick. This is the female default skin right here. Next we have Badlands, Jungle, Brown, Hunter, Mesa, Monarch, Mudbath, Bold Guard, Orca, Piebald, Popsicle, Primal, Parmigan, Pumpkin, Savannah, Sickle, Melanistic, Albino, Desert, and Pepper. I really like the Piebald one here. I like Brown as well, even though it's like super simple. Uh, Hunter's pretty good too. Um, but they have a lot of skins now for acro i can recognize some of them that the old model had um, but a lot of these are new let's check out the abilities right quick first we have an empty slot don't know what this is maybe extra senses uh, we have stout spine increases knockback on the bash attack and increases knockback resistance by 35 percent okay that's pretty decent vigorous spine increases damage output by 10 percent and decreases armor by five percent all right, a little give and take. Then we have two head slots. First, we have bite causes medium damage. Sunder, a charge up attack that deals high damage and sunders a target. When sundered, the target is stunned in place for a second and loses 5% speed and armor for five seconds. Upon hitting a target successfully, the acro goes into a frenzy and deals 5% more damage and even 0.1 bleed for five seconds. A stun? Ooh, people are either gonna love this or hate this. A stun is wild. Mutilating bite. Deals medium bleed and grants 1% of food and water per bleed hit. Debuffs a target by reducing their acceleration for six seconds. Stacks up to five times. That's gonna be interesting. I think acceleration might only be useful for like small creatures because they need acceleration to get away and dodge your bite. And then bash, a strong bash that deals good damage and knockback. Upon hitting a target, it increases the acro's turn and attack damage for eight seconds. Stacks up to three times. Can only be used when on the move or when crouching. Unable to be used when bone broken. Okay, that's hard. The fact we only got two slots, but I want to use like at least these three, like all three of these. Interesting though. Senses, we have Reclusive Ravager. Gave 5% increased attack damage and 10% armor when not in a group. It's very nice. Solitary Stalker, when not in a group and out of combat, the acro has 15% more stamina and deals 30% more damage on the first hit. Upon activating combat timer, both stamina and damage debuffs discontinue. That's kind of wild, but it really seems that they want acro to be a solitary player. You know, they don't want you to pack up which you know, I can understand, but um, I think there's probably a lot, depending on the stats, really a lot of work you'd have to do to see how well acro comes out in a one-on-one -on -one confrontation. We'll see. Friend limbs, we have claw swipe, deal medium damage and medium bleed. After a successful hit, acro gains 5% movement speed and high acceleration for six seconds. Okay, that's pretty good. Got a lot of buffs here. Uh, Utah might, completely demolish this guy if they just keep removing the buffs from acro and then counterbalance increases turn in place radius by 15 percent that's wild your turn in place radius is already really really good so 15 percent more you shouldn't ever be caught lacking <laughs> uh, metabolism we have hyper carnivore only able to eat meat food drains much slower Glutton can eat meat, fish, carrion, and bones. Increases max hunger by 50%. Lower thirst drain at the cost of higher hunger drain. Scavenger can eat meat, carrion, and bones. Fast food and water drain. Legs. Mega stomp. I love the icon for this. Hold on. Let me let me unlock this right quick so y'all can see. 
the icon for this look at that like a meteor stomp i love that anyway mega stomp a slow stomp with wide aoe weaker than other stomps but with a greater radius it can knock targets away and useful to get someone off the acro's back must be standing still to use okay so this is what i was afraid was gonna happen uh when you pounced other big creatures like rex and uh spino because they have a stomp now i thought maybe the stomp might shake pouncers off which it doesn't do for those two dinosaurs but it looks like it's going to do that for acro here which is super interesting back limb we have charge charge forward in a line causing damage to anything you hit we had that move with the other old acro model so it's good to see that still here brace Crouching or crouch walking for two seconds for turn on brace, which reduces incoming bone break. Although a powerful ability against bone breakers, all bone break taken prior to activating brace will not heal faster, as the ability can only block when activated instead of regenerate bone break. So basically, if you get bone breaking before you use brace, you're still gonna have that after crouching, but you won't get any new added bone break tail we have tail attack a tail attack that causes light damage and then balance gain five percent turn radius we really don't need it with acro just acro's turn is already fantastic so you really don't need it i would take the tail attack uh voice power up a buff call that grants 10 percent armor 20 percent bone break resistance and 20 percent bleed heal rate for 30 seconds and then towering presence decreases the armor and turn rate of all tyrannosaurus sauropods and hadrosaurus within 30 meters for 30 seconds cannot be stopped. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Keep those Rexes from turning around, just stay on their butt, you know? That's use, super useful. Then for hide, it looks like we've got a lot here. We have durable scales, increases armor by 15%, increases knockback power by 10%, but lightly decreases acceleration. Marathoner increases max stamina by 5% and stamina recovery rate by 10%. Resilient scales increases bleed and venom healing by 30%. Robust scales significantly reduces all forms of damage and status effects taken on the first hit before a combat timer. It's only the first hit. Mm. Slick scales bucking and struggling while being carried will now drain enemy stamina 30% faster. That's going to be really good when you're a baby. And it might help when you're an adult if you're fighting like a Nikilo for the most part. All right, and here are ability animations right quick. First, we have bite. One more time, bite. Not a long cooldown, so pretty nice. Quick movement. Then we have sunder. Which charges up. That's pretty much like the old model's charged bleed bite. Next, we have mutilating bite. Which is just like a longer bite animation with a step forward next we have bash Ooh, i love that animation but it's a move that you can only use when crouching or when moving like that okay so if you're standing in still is you can't use that move next we have claw swipe it's kind of like a downward hug grab type move not bad yeah it's pretty good then we have stomp Whoa, that does not look like a light stomp. It's supposed to do not that much damage, so not as much damage as like a Rex or Spino stomp, but it's supposed to have a wider area of effect, so we'll see how that turns out. Looks really cool though. Next we have Charge. There you go. Very nice, very simple, same as most other charges are. Now this is brace, you can see right there at the bottom with the claw symbol. Basically this is gonna reduce the amount of bone break you take. Remember it's not gonna remove any bone break that you already have, so this is if you're expecting it. Okay, next we have tail slap. From this angle, tail slap. There we go, not bad, very nice, simple tail slap. And here are our voice abilities, first one is power up. basically looks like the three call kind of it sounds a little bit different it's not exactly the same but you get all those buffs with it the armor the damage and lastly we have towering presence
basically the territorial emote. This gives you a debuff to the armor and the turn rate for the Tyrannosaurs, Hadrosaurs, and Sauropods. So I would definitely use this before you start a hunt on any big game. And I think that's about it for our friend Acro here. Overall, I think Acro is far superior to the old model. It has a lot of updated animations, some really good new animations, and some that are the same that have just been touched up to fit with the new model. It is really good turn radius, decent speed, decent buffs, decent armor, decent health. Uh, it is okay at swimming. It's not super, super slow like some other dinosaurs, but it's not you know the fastest of course most aquatics are going to beat it but overall this acro remodel is fantastic far far superior to what we had before i'm really excited for this new apex or new old apex definitely give this guy a try you can do some fantastic combos i'm pretty sure just based off of what we've seen and it's going to be a whole lot of fun so guys thank you so much for watching i have a lot of videos on my channel some covering path of titans some for games that you maybe haven't heard of yet so definitely check those out and i will see you in the next video